Tom and Bristow. Ah, beautiful Sunday. Word for the day is rub. Now, I'm showing you this rub via Armadillo Willies that I got at the rib cook-off at Sparks a couple weeks ago because the barbecue galore one I bought, I used last night. What I used it on, well, here's the finished product right here. Uh, and it was in three steps that I probably should have showed you last night, but I didn't. And uh, it's going to be pulled pork. What I got going on over here, this one I just wrapped up. This one's been smoking since um, 5 o'clock this morning with some apple and hickory wood on the smoker out there. And what I'm going to do with this, I just pulled it off. It's been on there for, uh, what, I don't know, about almost five hours. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wrap this up. Just like this right here. And this is that high heat saran wrap, you know. You don't have to worry about it melting. It won't do anything like that. Just wrap it up real good. Like that. Then, I'm going to take this foil over here. I hate this foil. It's very, very cheap. But it does the job. So... I'm going to take this foil right here, and we're going to wrap this up too. Just like that, you can do it either way you want. Just like that. Now, I'm going to do it the other one. Nah, actually that's going to be fine, just like that. Right there. And there you have that right there. We're going to take this. Now what I'm doing with this, normally um, I would just put it on back on the barbecue for about five hours, just like that right there. But I need the barbecue. So I'm going to put it in my oven here on 250. It was on and it shut off. So anyway, put it on 250 there uh, for about four or five more hours. And this is what you have right here. Look at this. Look at how juicy. The juice is all from it, too. Look at that. Beautiful. The whole entire thing just falls apart. Don't worry, my hands are nice and clean. And there you have it. Um, in a little while, I'm going to barbecue up this tri-tip. By the way, I have a birthday party today. That's why I'm doing all this. We have the tri-tip there, which I'll be grilling up in a little while. And that's marinating with a little teriyaki, a little canola, a little olive oil, some um, two bottles of wine, one red, one white, um, a little pepper, garlic, all kinds of goodies in there. There's so many things in there I really can't remember it all. So, anyways, that's what we got going on. Bobby Bristow stopped in California. I'll see you in a little while because this is a two-parter when I'm growing up this. Bye. This is part two, Bobby Bristow, part two, word for the day, rub, rub, dub, dub. Anyways, uh, as I was telling you, part two, I'm doing some tri-tip right now. Out of that bucket that I was showing you, look at the size of that beauty. It's been marinating here for about a day and a half and all those goodies I was telling you about earlier. So yeah, we have one tri-tip per person. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's what we got going on. We did the, we still have uh, some more pork butts going, and uh, we have some coleslaw, and I made some bourbon baked beans, and we have the tri-tips here. Word for the day is rub, and uh, let's take a quick look over here and see how these bad boys are doing. Woo! Well, they're doing. They are doing. How's that look, huh? Anyways. Yeah, that looks really good. Anyways, that's what we have Saturday. Word for the day's rub. Bobby Bristow. See you later. Have a good weekend. Bye.